A photograph should have the ability to communicate a sense of humanity, especially if it's a picture of a person. And it should have an internal narrative that allows you to walk away with a question or two in your mind. And I think that those are the criteria that I use for my work. When I made the picture, Yasmin to the Light, one of the things that I use in my work is the idea of collective photographic memory. It's the idea that a picture can be understood on lots of different levels of memory, particularly photographic memory. And the, the picture that I chose or emerged um, with that picture was the, the absolutely iconic image of Anne Frank that you see on, on books that kids read at school and adults read to remind themselves of certain things. I made that picture with that image, that little fleeting photograph in mind, um, the picture of a, a girl that never grew up and trying to make her grow up in a photograph. The piece was made in this studio and um, I, uh, I've been photographing um, using uh, a camera obscura technique for, I suppose, two or three years. It seems like a very natural way of working to me and it, I think that I was always interested in other ways of making pictures. But I made this camera. The way it works is I will position the person in front of the camera and then I'll go inside the camera to make refinements to that position. I'll close the lens down, then you put up some light sensitive material in the back of the camera. Then you come out of the camera and open the lens and make the exposure using flash. And then you put the picture into um, a processing machine which takes 18 minutes for it to dry. So the picture's either done and great or awful and terrible in 18 minutes. They're different to other photographs because they emit a sensation that is a little more human somehow. They're never really described as prints because there isn't a print, you know, the print is the photograph and the photograph is the print. There's, there's not the opportunity to make more than one version of the picture because that moment has passed. There's no negative and there's no transparency and there's no digital file. The pictures that I make, they're 50 by 70 inches or 50 by 60 inches. I wanted a photograph to be an experience to look at and, you know, I'd look at uh, photographs and I'd walk up to the pictures and I'd find them disappointing because they break up and they become you know, pixelated or grain laden at a certain viewing distance. And I thought there was a way around that. The opportunity to be millimeters away from the surface of the pictures and see the texture of people's skin and the bits of makeup they were wearing yesterday and couldn't wash off and eyelashes and dust on the, on the surface of fabrics and things like that. I'm very interested in the history of photography, but I'm more interested in general uh, visual culture. I, I pick from lots of different things to, to find my excitement or my inspiration. Um, I, I think that there's undoubtedly a photographic lineage where I'm the end of it in some parts and the beginning of it for others.